This week on Gadget. Can you hear me now? We've got Z-Boost Cellular Boosters from YX. Aloha, and welcome to Gadget at thetechstop.net, where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. That's the California province of the Jesuits, a religious order of the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. We've got uh, some new geek wear for you this week. Now, we got some complaints that some of our previous shirts, like the binary one, were a little too uber geeky. We wanted something that more geeks would be able to wear proudly. So, our friends over at ThinkGeek sent us this. Now, if you've ever done text messaging or instant messaging, or if you've just ever participated in an internet forum, you know what this means. And if you do, then yes, you are a geek. And you should go to ThinkGeek at www.thinkgeek.com. Check out this shirt and all the other apparel that you can use to show your geekhood proudly. The gadget bite of the week is this. This is the USB multifunction mouse pad from Brando Workshop. Now they sent us this so that uh, we could add a little Uber Geek flavor to our studio. As you can see, it's got a USB hub built into it, and it's not just a gaming surface, but it's also a control pad for your computer. It can start up everything from Internet Explorer to your email to a calculator to several different programmable functions. It's also got a power button for the computer itself, as well as a way to control your multimedia function. Now the coolest thing about this is, if you turn off the lights, you get this little blue glowy thing. And, I mean honestly, what geek can't use more blue glowy things? You can pick up this mouse pad now from Brando Workshop for about $25. If you've had a cell phone for more than five minutes, you know that the bane of every mobile user is low signal. There simply aren't enough cell phone towers to provide coverage everywhere. Most of the telcos are good about giving you coverage in all the major areas, but the second you go out into a field or a remote house or an office that's in a non-ideal location, you start to get drop-off. Best case, it messes up your signal, you drop off calls, and your call quality suffers. Worst case, you can't connect at all. Now, in the past, we've sort of solved this by holding the phone in weird positions or perhaps going outside to make the call or getting close to a window, but there really hasn't been any hope unless you can get the cell phone company to install a tower. That was until YX sent us their Z-Boost boosters. Now, they sent us these to test their claims that these could uh, provide improved coverage for your cell phone. Now, honestly, we have to say we were skeptical. We've seen too many of these products perform poorly to, to believe that this was going to be a one-shot cure-all booster. But what we found was that the performance is actually quite good. Now, this is a dual-band unit, which means that it will support uh, pretty much every standard out there in the 1900 to the 800 megahertz range. That's CDMA, GSM, TDMA, AMPS, G GBRS, EDGE, RTT, EVDO, and HSDPA. That's right, it, it supports not just voice, but data. Basically, it will support every manufacturer out there, every carrier except Nextel, because Nextel has that funky push-to-talk feature. Now, it can output 500 milliwatts EIRP. That's the effective isotropically radiated power, which is a fancy way of saying that the combination of this antenna and this amplifier will give you 500 milliwatts, which translates to 56 to 65 decibels of gain, which is actually quite good. Installing this unit is incredibly simple. You've got two antennas, the external and the internal, and you have a length of ultra-low-loss coax cable. The idea is you find a place in the area that you're trying to install that can actually get signal. Now, it should be noted that if you have no signal whatsoever, if your cell phone can't pick up anything, then this can't magically make signal appear. But if you've even got a tiny bit, a little bit of a bar, you, you take this antenna and you stick it up on the roof or in the attic or just somewhere high where you might have a line to sight to a tower somewhere, you run this coax cable back down to this unit and you plug this antenna in. And once you've hooked up to the power, you've got the three indicator lights here which will tell you if you've got power, if you've got signal, and, and whether or not you're having an installation problem, and you get signal. Now, 
in our test, we were uh, using our, our location here, which honestly is not quite good enough for uh, my T-Mobile service. If I go 10 feet out that way, I've got great service. But in this office or up at this house, I was getting maybe one bar. Most of the time, I would drop calls. Every other call, I couldn't connect. And anyone trying to call me would almost certainly get my voicemail because it just would never ring my phone. When we plugged in this, that changed entirely. For the duration of the test, I never dropped a call. For the duration of the test, every call got through to me. For the duration of the test, the sound quality improved dramatically and my battery life increased. I believe it's probably because my phone doesn't have to transmit at such high a power in order to get back to the repeater. This was doing all the work. Now this unit only draws 7 watts, so it's quite efficient. And this is supposed to be able to serve an area of about 2,500 square feet. Now that's great considering the fact that the average home is about 2,300 square feet. And even though that, that's really, if it was sort of, you know, an open area, it, it should give you enough power to, to supply that signal to your office. Now, one of the other cool features about this is that uh, this, since it's a detachable TNC antenna, you could actually get a directional antenna or a more effective antenna on this so you could increase your range even more. This would be ideal if you were in, say, an elongated office building and you got signal on one side but not on the other you'd actually be able to take a directional antenna and point it at the area where you weren't getting signal and it would extend its coverage down that arc. It's a fantastic way to increase your performance. Now, the downside is that this is quite expensive. This, which is the YX510, is $400, $399. If you wanted to get a unit that only supported either the 1900 or the 800 band, that's $100 less at $299, but as long as you're going to invest in equipment like this, I would suggest you get the higher end unit just because it supports multiple users so you don't have to worry about someone using up your repeater. And if you ever change carriers, you might find yourself with equipment you can't use. If this is too expensive, YX has also sent us this. This is their Z-Boost Person Mode, the ZP. Now, it's basically got the same specs as this. It's dual band, supports all those different uh, uh, data sets, CDMA, GSM, etc., etc. It does voice, it does data, it has an external antenna. The only difference is that it's got a slightly, actually, a quite a less powerful amplifier. Uh, whereas you were talking about 56 to 65 decibels of gain on the uh, 510, this you're talking about 43 to 47. Whereas this can cover 2,500 square feet, this is only supposed to cover a radius of four to six feet. So it's, it's for your work area, it's for your desk, it's for your room, it's for that specific part of the house that's not getting any signal. Now, like the 510, you have to have separation between the antenna and the booster. For the 510, it's 15 feet. For this, it's 10, although realistically, in our test, the further away you could get it, the better. Also, in the instructions, it said that you could mount this antenna on the inside of a window, but we found that we got much better results if we put it on the outside. Now, like the 510, if you put these antennas too close, you get an indicator light that tells you that it's feeding back upon itself, and basically it's shutting down its transmission because it's not going to do you any good. This unit goes for 170 and uh, the results weren't nearly as good as the 510, of course, to be expected, but we did find that within our area, within our workspace, it worked just fine. The call quality wasn't up to the level of the 510, but it did increase our signal strength, it did prevent us from dropping any calls, and it did allow us to receive all the data and the messages that we were supposed to receive on our phone. All in all, these are incredibly easy units to install, Honestly, we were, we were surprised. We were shocked. We were expecting them to be uh, products that kind of boosted signal, but not really. But no, they actually did exactly what they were supposed to do. They took a weak signal and they made it stronger. Now, if there was a downside to it, I would say it would have to be the installation, especially on the 510. Because you have to use your, your cell phone, and your cell phone may not be the most sensitive instrument. I mean, the, the, the bars sometimes aren't a good indicator of exactly how strong the signal is. It, it sometimes felt frustrating about that maybe if I had moved the antenna 10 feet that way or 5 feet that way. I, I would have liked there to be some sort of indicator lights on the unit or a way to interface with the unit so that you could actually measure signal intensity and signal strength. That being said, for the price point, this is great. 
I mean, I, I'm going to install this full time in our offices here. I'm going to have this one up at the house. These are now my products of choice to, to make my cell phones work. Now, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about these YX products, if you want to read the full review, you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. Click on the Gadget tab and you'll be able to find all the links. If you want to send us a message, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Now, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology, and there's no Uber Geek without you.